All right, Beverly Hills Cop 2. It's been so long since I saw the first one, but I loved Axel Foley. Loved the music. I'm very excited. Let's do it. Beverly Hills, California. I wonder if there'll be a banana in the tailpipe. Oh, these have got to be bad guys. Oh my goodness. Well, she's cool and possibly evil. Uh, do exactly as I say. Stand up slowly, walk ahead of me and open the door. Is she from Rocky IV? Oh. Oh, these are these drums. Okay, this is awesome. I already love it. Everybody freeze! Nobody move! You it's a heist. She's so cool. She's such a good bad guy. Eat the floor. No! Eat the floor is such a cool thing to say for a bad guy. Okay, I love a good bad guy. I love 80s music. Oh my god. The villain in me just wants to pull a jewel heist so bad. <laughs> oh. Now! Holy crap! Time! She's in complete control of this. Hey, with the rose, it's a clue. <laughs> Didn't need to, just did it for style. <laughs> did it all in heels, I love it. Awesome, 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 cool. Good opening. All right, back in Detroit. Well, cool bad guy. And I think someone told me that that lady is, was Stallone's girlfriend at the time in the 80s. Tony Scott, what else has he done? I'm very excited for Eddie Murphy. Yay! Look at Sharp. With the laugh right out of the gate. He's so charming. He has like just a screen presence, a charisma that you just can't even put your finger on. Has he done any movies lately that we should check out? Or did he kind of retire? Griffin. <laughs> and Paul Reiser. I had a 90s crush on Paul Reiser. Oh, story by Eddie Murphy too. Cool. This is fun. I'm having fun already. Hey, Ace, I would very much like you to meet Judy. You suck a golf ball for 20 feet of garden hose. Judy. I'm very impressed, Judy. Can you excuse us for a second? Go over there, Judy. Can you have a seat over here, Judy? Go over there! Judy. Go over there! Thank you, Judy. I have business to take care of. I need some more credit cards. American Express, blank credit cards. I need 2,000 this time. Well, if you can't handle it, I'm sorry. I thought, I guess I'll take my bag of money to somebody right. who can't handle it. <laughs> when do you need the cards? I need the cards in three hours. Well, give me some time. Yeah. Hey, look, man, I'm a businessman, okay? I gotta make moves. I'm moving. Ooh, look at his fancy watch. If you can't help me, I gotta do something else, because I'm business. I gotta move on. Business. <laughs> you meet me at this address. Three hours. Three hours. Three hours. Three hours. Hey, holy. Actually, I hate to bother you. Look, get away from me. Paul Reiser. All right, back in Beverly Hills with the bad guys. Someone's about to go down at the oil fields. I wonder if there'll be any explosions in this movie. It's possible. Uh, Detective Axel Foley, please. Hello there. You have reached the home of George Kingfish Stevens. <laughs> you can leave a message at the tone and I'll get back to you at my earliest inconvenience. <laughs> You're such a goof. Hey, listen, I'm going to have to cancel out on the fishing trip. That's okay, because I'm up to my ass and undercover on this credit card fake. I knew it, undercover. Now, look, I'm into something kind of important here. I'll fill you in as soon as I get it straight. 385 North, private rooms. Oh, listen, punch Rose in his eye and slap tag it in his bald ass head for me. The two guys from the last movie? Why do I feel like this guy's gonna end up dead? Jeffrey, I talked to Marcy. Maybe she not. doesn't want to meet you. She doesn't know me. What did you tell her? I described you to her. Jesus, look at that watch. Is that a Patek Philippe, Jeff? Yeah, he's all blinged out. Leave me alone. I'll work on the cover with you just once. Let me. Why not? Oh, please team up. When Todd comes and says, Where am I at? Tell him I'm out pursuing my credit card bust, all right? Thank you. Now you're undercover. I want him to team up with Eddie Murphy. That would be my ultimate dream movie. All right, yes, what is this? Bunch of numbers. Is this guy serious? He's serious about the way he pulled the job. He knew exactly how long to stay inside and what to take. She. I have this friend. Wait, 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 wait. Why are you involved with this case? Are they gonna team up with Eddie again? Woohoo! You called a supervising agent of the FBI to help break this alphabet code? My men will solve it locally, Roseweed. Roseweed. <laughs> you can't even maintain a supervisory relationship with your own personnel. And now you've superseded the chain of command. As of this moment, you Bye. are suspended. Ooh. On what grounds? Yeah. Have no knowledge of nor control over your own troops activities you can't do this looks like you can have you ever heard of due process policy requires us to give you a board of review within two days you got two days i'm fighting you on this herald maybe you can solve it in two days now would you two boys like to hold on to your jobs just a little while longer you report the traffic duty effective immediately oh uh, bummer well that went terribly maybe he needs the help of a rogue cop oh these drums jeez 
<gasps> that her? Look at this car. Oh, the old damsel in distress routine. Yeah, yeah, it is. I have a couple of cool wigs if anyone would like to see. A couple of cool hairdos for my alternate egos. What's that? Another? She's gonna kill him? <gasps> ah! What do you make of this, Andrew? Who are you? Your worst nightmare. Oh, no! Assassination! Frig! Wow, I didn't think that he was gonna get killed. Right there! Ooh, his finger, ew. Left another clue. Look at this car, holy. Hey, Vinny! Force discipline. And to teach the prisoners the value of such benefits. Let's just read and play, boy. As you do. Police Captain Andrew Bogomil has been gunned down in broad daylight. Captain Bogomil is alive. He's gonna go. I just found out what- I'm sorry, what happened? He's dead. They operated on him, Axel. He's gonna be okay. Oh, whew. Okay, good, 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 good. Axel, this guy really nailed him. Set him up, cold blood. Who? Alphabet guy. Hey, hey! I'm sorry I'm late, but I yeah, run into this broad. You're the f guy with the truckload of cigarettes that day. Hey, man, take off your glasses. I thought that was you. <laughs> you come inside a half hour late, and on top of all that, you're bringing the goddamn cop with you, too? You calling me a cop? Well, the dude is definitely bad luck. I don't know what he is to you. He's bad luck. <laughs> this way, this second. What the f cop I'm checking you for a wire, man. You ain't no cop. Yeah, if he ain't a cop, oh, 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 if he ain't white, why can't I stop the Man, look, I got 2,000 blank American Express cards right now. I have the money and I do want to do business, but with you, I ain't doing nothing in front of this dude because this dude is a cop. You call me a cop? Come here! Come here! Come here! You've been times looking all over for you, and I hope you made the bus. Did you make the bus? Everyone's just reading dirty magazines around here, huh? Are we working undercover together? Yeah. And I can trust you to be quiet. And who are you talking to? You can trust them. Except in alien. Aliens? Aliens. I need you to drive the Ferrari for a couple of days. Drive it where? Just drive it around, but nobody can know it's you. How do I drive the car? Well, drop you? down. Scooch you down inside the car. Scooch down. <laughs> Drive Marcy in the car. You can drive. Mar She's supposed to hang out with me this week. So I'm driving the car. Drive the car with Marcy. Scooch it down. Destroy. Scooch it. He could do it. He could do it. This is one that's gonna make me cop of the month, and I'm gonna take you with me. We're gonna be there smiling Beautiful. together. Good. You got this. I don't know. I don't know if he has this. Is he gonna mess it up while he's gone? I don't know. Inspector T, how you doing? Where the f you been, Foley? What the hell you need a thousand dollars for? Little flash money. I don't want to see any more of these blue slips. We're not gonna see some arrest slips. Yeah, he's really milking it. I'm so close now. I'm closer than I've been, and it's because I can smell it. It's in the air, and I smell it. Do you smell it? Because I smell it. it. Smells like pigs. I'm gonna give you three days. If I don't see some results by then, I'm gonna cover my own. How do you like that arrangement? We got two days, we got three days. Just make sure nothing happens to that Ferrari. Don't worry about it. Thanks. Car is safe. I'm driving the car. I will sleep, eat, drink, shit. I wish. No, I ain't going to. I am on the job. Don't worry about the thing. On the job. That's what I'm afraid of. He's going to eat. He'll be fine. He'll, he's going to wrap up both of these crimes. I have no doubt. Alphabet killer. Credit card guy. Won't change my mind. Ooh. I'm on my way. Whoa. So fancy. Look at all these cars. And it's so we're on Rodeo Drive. Alright, how's he gonna solve it? I wonder what Eddie Murphy's really like. Seems like a cool dude. Excuse me, we're the owners of this house. They're in Hawaii for a week while the construction's happening. Is there a foreman around? Thank you. Why? Does he want this house? Is he gonna live in this house? Everybody stop what you're doing, please! I'm Axel Foley, Beverly Hills building inspector! Everybody stop what you're doing! Didn't they tell you I was coming? No! They didn't? No! <laughs> Give me the goddamn plan! <laughs> These are the old plans! Weren't you at the meeting? No. With the Andersons before they no went to Hawaii? God. No, man. The plans have been changed. There are not supposed to be any right angles on this building. No right angles. <laughs> yeah, I just Maybe did what they showed me. Well, you, you did know, the yeah. right thing, but whoever gave you this, an asshole. Son of so a stop! <laughs> you got the week off, and we'll straighten this whole thing out. Just leave it in my hands. You have done a good job. Oh my god. Is he about to just crash in this house? It's Miller time! It's right, Miller time. Will you stop worrying and go home? Trust me. He's so good. These are shell cases left over from the first robbery of Adriana. These are 44 auto mag. They don't even make these anymore. They're too expensive. A real pro. What the f is going on here? Who the f are you? Uh, my name is Johnny Wish Wishbone. <laughs> He is not gonna like him. I'm a psychic phenomenon. Watch this. I don't know who you are, but watch this. Oh my god. Your name is, um, Lutz, right? And your name is, um, Biddle? Biddle, yes, see? And you give two more seconds, I would say to myself. Because I'm Johnny Wishbone. Johnny Wishbone. Lutz and Biddle. It's like kibbles and bits, but. <laughs> He's such a sh.
<laughs> Axel's got nine lives. I don't. Agree. You boys ready? Let's go. I mean, he is a good cop, though, but. We gotta do this, the three of us. Mm -hmm. All for mm -hmm. one, one for all. Yes. Woohoo. Two years ago, I almost lost my job. Man put his neck on the line for me. Now, nah, he's laying in the hospital somewhere unconscious. I'm not gonna just go back to Detroit without help. Okay, okay. Andy and That's I joined it. the force together. Team up, team up. But if we do this, it's gotta be low profile, covert. Billy and I are supposed to report to traffic duty, for Christ's sake. <laughs> Give me a break. Are they gonna get somebody else to do it? Oh my god, I'm loving this soundtrack so much. What's in the bag? My vitamins. You want all my vitamins? Yes. Don't put them in the tailpipe. Excuse me. One second. What year is this? 73. Champagne. Every movie. What is he doing? Oh my god. Uh, may I help you? I'm from Metalux, explosive research company. Russell Fielding working here. He ordered these plutonium nitrate, multi-explosive, sound-seeking projectiles. <laughs> I think your company must have made a mistake. No, I, I haven't made a mistake. Y'all made a mistake. <laughs> no, no, no. We don't make mistakes. We'll straighten this out with research, right? No, look, this is a sound-seeking projectile. I suggest you don't use the telephone. You don't do anything. And if you have to break wind, maybe one of the little quiet, sneaky ones. <laughs> You could do me a big favor and just drop this off at Mr. Feeling's office on your way out. I have a friend named Bootsy that got killed doing something like this. And I'd like to see my twin daughters, Monique and Unique, again. Monique and Unique! <laughs> Would you please just take that off my desk and drop it off at Mr. Feeling's? I'm just doing this for my kids. This is the same way Bootsy got killed. <laughs> All they found was $20 and a pair of Adidas. <laughs> Down the hallway, right? <laughs> on the court. <laughs> Don't seize me. <laughs> Whoa, well, you almost got f***ed up. <laughs> shoe money for my daughters. <laughs> Five dollars a shoe, it's four shoes. Fire <laughs> when you're ready. I see. Okay. I was like, what is he doing? Are you Russ Fielding, the gunsmith? Yeah. Have you ever seen one of these before? It's a 308 rifle shot cut to fit the 44 Magnum automatic. Oh, well, 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 well. Charles Bronson is a close friend of the family and he gave me this for Christmas. Hi, I'm Carla Fry, assistant manager. Oh. My name is uh, Richard James and it's very nice to meet you. <laughs> she is very tall. Well, he's salted immediately. He just doesn't know it. What is that? <laughs> He's got a 44 auto mag casing from here. I made it. You didn't tell him that, did you? No. I think we have a problem. You wanted to see me? I guess this is the big boss, the big villain. We have promised to deliver Thermopolis $10 million Friday at 6 p.m. So I like to go over it and possibly avoid the same mistakes that were made on the Adriano job. It was perfectly planned, but it was executed with Neolithic incompetence. Oh, ooh. idiot. <laughs> I don't understand. You supplied your packs on the Adriana's job with guns from my club? Yes, but they were totally clean. Nobody could ever trace them. That's what he thinks. And why is there a man in my club with shell casings from one of my guns? Yeah, immediately. Who is he? The one and only. I'd say he's a cop. What's he? Take a good look at him, because you're going to kill him. Better not. How long would it take to shave those legs anyway? <laughs> I suppose you're trying to be charming. Actually, I'm just offering my grooming services. <laughs> Chip Kane, I'm the manager here. How are you, Chip? Maybe you'd like to have a guest membership. Where could I send you an application? We'll send it along with the 44 shells. They're gonna come try and kill him. Well, I'll be sure to duck. Goodbye, Mr. James. I guess that's my cue. Excuse me. Never threatened. He just is like, whatever. Richard James. <laughs> You got a match? Yeah, your teeth look great. Don't screw this up. That matchbook's gonna come back later. Here's the impending alphabet now. Will they be able to break this one? I'll crack it when we want them to. Mm. I'm curious what the notes say. What would you guys say if I told you it was a six foot blonde working here? Witnesses reported a six foot blonde at the Adriana's robbery. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Six foot blonde women grow on trees in California. Oh, that's kind of true. Why don't you meet me at my house at 1603 Hillcrest in about an hour, okay? Where are my vitamins? Here's $20. Get some more. What do you do? Sell them? <laughs> That's a very cool theme. Freeze! <laughs> you scared the hell out of me. <laughs> <laughs> that little laugh. <laughs> I think your father got shot because he was on to something, but I can't figure out what it was. Find out everything you can find out about a guy named Maxwell Dent. I'll try. Okay. About to find a clue. <laughs> 
got to be a mistake. There's his car. Billy, if he's here, he must be robbing the place. <laughs> well, not exactly. Axel. Bow, 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 bow. Axel. Look at the shit. What are you doing here? The Pointer sisters live here, so. Shh. <laughs> what? Shh. I'll bet. Pointer sisters. I'm so excited. Hey! Look at this house. Guy got some swimming trunks in the bedroom, dive in the pool. Party time! Party time! You've stolen this house. It's my uncle's house. Will you go put your trunks on and get in this pool? <laughs> Axel, get out of the goddamn pool! <laughs> oh. I was wondering if they were gonna end up in there. <laughs> What's taking you so long? Is he putting on the trunks? Oh. All right. Sharp, huh? Sharp. <laughs> All right, to 385. Who are you? I'm his representative. You know who that is there? That's former President Gerald Ford. <laughs> it doesn't look like Gerald Ford. Have you ever seen Gerald Ford with his makeup off? No. <laughs> he could talk his way into anything. Can I have a Coke with no ice? Yeah, one Coke, no ice. There's been a lot of Coke placement in this movie, I've noticed. There you go. Who's the popular blonde? That's Nick Thomas. He owns this place. Yeah, it's seven bucks, buddy. Seven dollars? In the 80s. Getting in deep with action. Again. We'll probably be directing traffic the rest of our lives anyway. The Bogum. The Bogum Hill. Pink. Mr. on the House President Board. Well, you're much better looking in person. This kind of sounds like Paula Abdul a little bit. All right, let's solve this crime. Ah. Just gonna shoot right there and drive by. Nothing like a drive-by shooting set to synth from the 80s. Oh, is roll! He is good. Nice. <laughs> Come on, Axel. Oh, man. Are they gonna be dead? Oh. I want you kid. Watch yourself. Ooh, no, no, no. I wouldn't be going in there. Dude, dude, the wires. No, no, no. Matches. Boom. Well, whoever it was got away clean. <laughs> I checked with immigration. They never heard of a Johnny Wishbone. Johnny Wishbone. <laughs> I'm a cop. I didn't take before because I knew you'd be upset. This is a Detroit badge. What the f are you doing in Beverly Hills? Solving your crime. I'm attached to a multi-jurisdictional federal task force on organized crime. Just lies all the time. Code name is Wishbone. If there is a federal task force, I want to know about it. It's need to know, sir. But right now, I have uh, the rest of my case to finish, so excuse me. <laughs> Smooth as silk. Whoa, that's a lot of plants. Yo, man, this is Wild Kingdom. Yeah. We're trying to create a stress-free environment. I like it. I kind of want that in my house. These are my friends. They actually like different kinds of music. If I play the Beatles, the begonias perk up. If I play Beethoven, they wither. Interesting. Very definitely like the Boston Pops. Rainbow poster. But everybody loves Mozart. Bex. Who's this? Big Bex. Al. Big Al. Oh, give me that super glue. What is he doing? Hey, what's that music from? The dating game. Yeah. Is he about to explode something? Now let's give Billy a big dating game kiss. What the heck did he do in there? Whoa. Jesus, Billy. Rambo, big Rambo fan. Oh yeah, how's he doing? How's the Ferrari? Ferrari's great. What a great car. Now listen, you have to do something for me. It's something you don't want to do, but you got to do it. Am I gonna get in trouble? Yes. You see that? Weird, huh? It's very simple. What happens is the fumes from the super glue attaches itself to the acid from the fingerprints. Whoa! Is that science true? No, all we have to do is match it. You could use the match computer it. downtown. No. Is that science true? Got it. Charles King used to be Charles Campus. I just met this guy. He works in the Beverly Hills Gun Club. Well, there's something wrong here. This guy had nothing to do with Bogomo getting shot. Well, obviously he did. What are we gonna do now? Let's go to the gun club. Wait a minute. It's, it's 11 o'clock. The gun club's closed. So? So we sneak in. <laughs> they love it. Secretly, everybody likes breaking the rules a little bit. This is definitely breaking the law. Mm -hmm. Once we cross the line, there's no way back. I'll go. See, would you lighten up and take some risk? Axel Foley is all risk, though. But he's usually right. It usually solves it. Is there a third movie? Is there Beverly Hills Cop 3? Alarm tape. It weighs around a lot. Where you just foil and you squeeze it between the two magnets. Then take your gum to hold it in place. The magnets have the illusion that the connection's never been broken. It's like a scientist. This does seem risky, though. Look at the needle and the hate. Oh, crap. Nice. Yeah. What is that? Looks like a needle in a haystack. 
Map coordinates. Map coordinates. Is that like the numbers on the alphabet notes? All right, he's looking sharp too. <laughs> Sisters. This is this Inspector Todd of the Detroit Police Department? I'm sorry to be bothering you at home, sir. My director has asked me to interview an exceptional local law enforcement officer. What is he pulling? I was wondering if you could possibly meet me this morning for breakfast at my office. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll be there. I see. Go for it. Yeah, this is Todd. This is uh, Harold Lutz. I'm the chief of the Beverly Hills Police Department. Do you have an officer working in your command by the name of Axel Foley? Yes, I do. He's under my command. Exemplary. I cannot control the son of a he, he, he reports directly to the feds. He's gonna get in so much trouble. What the hell are you doing in here? This is not my office. You I'm right it isn't. Woo! Wanna check out these coins and see if they in the set. 9752 mm. Gregory Way. City deposit. It's a federal uh, reserve bank where banks take their money. Oh my. That's the next place it gets hit. Oh shoot. Get out of here. So we just robbed a, a federal reserve in Die Hard 3. Oh goodness. Look at this. Snacks and snacks. These are fake. Frig pulling another heist. Are they gonna pull it off or can Axel figure this out quicker? Come on, guys. Come on. Here it is. I got it. I got it. Come out of the hole. Come on, move it. Fire in the hole. This is why I never want to work at a bank. Three minutes! You drive worse than Maureen! No way! I trust you, Rosewood. You're not a good driver, though. 2.30! This girl is always right on with the counting, though. Some kind of construction. They're all big. Frig. Two minutes! Yo, man, what's that for? Who do you think you are, Kanye Twins? Dirty Rosewood? Dirty Rosewood. I need to watch Dirty Harry, don't I? I gotta watch it. Tell your lawyer you gotta break it! I need authorization. Yeah. Authorize! <laughs> Come on, go, go, go! Did they get it all? It's a pretty good plan. I do respect a heisting villain with a good plan. Oh shoot, not good. Hey Rosewood, get some wheels. Just so I'm standing there by myself. Is that what they're gonna chase him in? <laughs> nice. Well, this is pretty sporty. Too slow. They're just gonna chase him in a cement truck. <laughs> oh God, here I go again. Go for it, buddy. Oh, for rig. Hey, another guy! He's a jerk! <laughs> <laughs> Does the steering wheel work in this thing? I'm staring! <laughs> They're probably hard to drive. Oh, oh god, that gives him over. Is he gonna run over all those guys? All these police cars are getting trashed. Oh my god. Oh god. Rosewood, you're gonna be in big trouble. <laughs> I like it. He's a lot more reckless in this movie. Axel has rubbed off on him. Stop! There's a truck. Alright, sneak. Oh my god, these percussion sounds. Now what? Ooh. This was a pickup vehicle. Just follow it as far as it goes. I love this score. It's so fun. Sarge? Billy, isn't this, uh. Yeah! No! <laughs> Are they at the Playboy Mansion? Oh my god. Just drive the cement truck up. Oh, yo, 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 what the f is up, man? Check this out. Is that Chris Rock? I get $10 for cars. I get $20 for limo. There's $50. Put it next to the limo. <laughs> I'm here to clean the pool. Darling, the pool's been cleaned yesterday. Today, the pool is dirty. Somebody made a mistake in the pool. I'd like to go clean the pool, please. What do you mean by a mistake? Someone had a little, uh, how would we say? Accident. Accident. You want me to spell it out? It's something floating in the pool. Yeah. Who are these two gentlemen with you? Well, these guys here, they with the board of health. They're here to make sure I do the job thoroughly. It's very embarrassing to dive in and... Yeah! Axel Foley can talk his way into anything. Why aren't my parties like this? Gotta die sometime, might as well be here. I wonder if Hugh will be in this. That looks like the girl from the gun club. Who, the one with Jen Thermopolis? Max! How'd you get in here? I don't know who this person is, but he's annoying us. <laughs> are we having a problem here? Oh, he's young. This is Thermopolis. He's into guns and drugs. You have to. And this is Max. And Max kills cops for a living. I think 
think it's time that uh, all of you left. He is so young in this. Goodbye. Yes, he appreciates it, Max, but take your ass home. It's been real. It's been nice. Take it easy. <laughs> you take Dent's pocket? Nice. Ho! Oh. Oh. This is Dent's accountant, Sidney Bernstein. Anything that Dent's into, he's going to have a record of it, right? So we just go visit him tomorrow morning. I kind of hope they run into that foreign guy in this movie. He was really funny in the last one. And weren't you supposed to leave for Detroit, Axel? Yeah, today at noon. Well, you're not going to make it. You're going to get fired. We started this together. We're going to finish together, right? Mm-hmm. Sir, we're at the Beverly Hills Police Department. Are you Mr. Sidney Bernstein? Yes, lucky guess. Well, sir, you have 25 unpaid parking tickets. We have a warrant for your arrest. That's my wife's car. That's not my car. That's my... 25 unpaid yeah, parking. I mean... <laughs> Is there something that I have in this office that I could hand to you? What are you trying to say? Oh, like what? Oh, you mean like if I had um, $200 in this hand? $200? Ouch, please. Glasses on. I have to use your uh, computer because I have to wipe all evidence of this transaction out, you know. No problem at all. Perfect. I can't believe what I don't want to hear it, Billy. Could talk his way in anyway, man. Axel Foley. Maxwell Dent, Costa Rica, San Jose. Hey, Jan, what do you got? He's let his insurance lapse on everything in the last six months. All his businesses, except one. Which one is Which that? One? The racetrack. To the racetrack we go. All right, now we're Kieran cooking. Fields. Do, 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 do. Let's do it. He's not going to rip off his own racetrack. He would if he was insured. Exactly. Hundreds, we won't find any oil field equipment if we find Dent. Dent's visa application to Costa Rico had today's date on it. If we don't step on, I so think he's, he's out gone? of here. Yeah. He's going. I don't know what happened on the city deposit, Max. That's why I need you to go along personally. To make absolutely certain nothing goes wrong. Hey, I broke it. It says Chinging Supuerco San Carlos. Screw you, cops, San Carlos. Supuercos ain't cops. It means pigs, another word for cops. Ah. Uh. Charles Kane. Carlos is uh, Spanish for Charles. So, Charles Kane is the alphabet robber. The first code was very hard. It was real easy. He already solved it. To the races. My grandpa used to race horses. Although not like jockey style, he did it from the back on a little cart thing. Look at these stacks. Yeah, there's a lot of money here. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Oh, frig. <gasps> That's never good. About to gas it all. She's just shooting her whole team. Bad guys should never trust each other. They always betray each other. Uh, and just puts on a fur and goes out. I'm afraid okay. our horse didn't come in. Kane's did. <laughs> Driving like a maniac. Too late. And they're right behind this killer, but... We're a little late. We are confident that we have identified the alphabet bandit. The man was shot dead at the scene this morning by security guard. They think that that was him? My own computer team personally cracked the alphabet bandit's code this afternoon. Ball. If Kane's the man, where's the money? Where's Dan? Hey, where'd you get that? It's coming from there. Is it blood? Excuse me. How all the mud get on the horse? It was crazy. Pasture. Where's the pasture at? There. That's oil field. Starting to wonder, I mean, he found the shoes with the mud on them in, in the dude's house. Behind you, somebody gave him a tip and he came up here to check it out, and that's when he tried to waste it. Why is he? Dent's going broke. Then he throws this easy code at the cops and puts Kane's name on it. You frame Kane, yeah. you kill Kane, Kane's the alphabet killer, then gets away scot free, case closed. Yeah, it's kind of brilliant. Dent could buy guns up here for a million bucks and sell them down there for 10 million. Look at all that oil. I don't see oil, I see trucks. Hmm. What's he doing? Going undercover? Billy, what are you doing? I've been wanting to wear this for a while, Sarge. What are you, nuts? I love Jesus it. Jesus Christ, Billy, we gotta talk. Two guns. Come on. Oh my God, yes. Mm-hmm. Welcome to West here. The music has not let up. It's been every single minute. There's been... Those look like oil pumps to you? It's it like World War III. Mm-hmm. Oh, well, I do kind of want to blow something up. Man, what did he do you? That's so up. Oh yeah. my god. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Billy, what are you doing? Well, I'm in a surprise. What are you, nuts? Pull the connecting wire. Can you pull it off? You still got that thing? Shh. It's a bad idea. Yeah, it's come in handy quite a bit. <gasps> oh, no. Rosewood, gotta save him. You sure you know what you're doing? Trust me. <gasps> oh, crap. <laughs> Kick his 
What? Come on, Axel! Wow. <laughs> that, that would be me. Whoa. <laughs> Aim through there. Push this. Yes. Nice. That was lucky. Cover me. Go, Axel! Two guns. Oh, buddy. Go, go, go. Grenades. Music is so fun. Just blasting. He's gonna take down the big baddie. Mr. Foley! This guy. Go involve yourself in business that doesn't concern you. Uh oh. They were expecting him. The rig! Just from the shadows with a giant machine gun. So come on. Ooh, this music! The rogue one? Oh! Did he get him? Got him there. Oh! Well, 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 he's dead now. It's okay. <gasps> Goodbye, Mr. Foley. No! Who got him? Who got him? Oh! Women. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> oh boy, finally being a team player. Police! You're on your ass! <laughs> I think they know that, Billy. He is loving it. You done here? Looks like a god war zone. What needed to be done? We solved the alphabet crimes. Yeah. You shut up! The bad guys. I personally solved the alphabet case up in a body bag over an hour ago. False. Will you just listen a minute? Shut up! You shut your mouth once and for all. No, God. You shut up! Oh! Guns! Gun? That guy sold them and then bought them with stolen money from Adriano's and his own racetrack. He was on his way to Central America. Idiot. Why didn't I know about this? Because Chief Lutz doesn't have the guts to hear the truth from real cops. That's why we had to go undercover with Detective Foley to solve this kid. You're welcome. You're fired! Yeah? Kiss my ass! Kiss mine! <laughs> you fired too! <laughs> I think I've just about had it with your abusive attitude. I'm sorry, I get carried away. I'm sorry. It's you are fired. Ow! I want you out of here now. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Fired! You regret this, Ted. Yeah, yeah. Are they civilians now? I'm gonna kick your ass later. <laughs> <laughs> you're getting more and more like me every day. Next thing I you know, agree. you're gonna have afros. <laughs> so you are the new chief of police, Inspector Todd. Yeah, Ted Egan. I want you to know how thankful we are that you allowed Foley the time to help us with this case. Uh oh. Hi. <laughs> what have you been telling them? Let me talk. Oh boy. Your secret undercover partner, Mario Andretti Friedman, wrecked the guy. Ferrari. Oh, car accident. Oh, boy. Axel, you know what? It wasn't even my fault. That's the yeah, funny right. thing. There was a bus coming the other way. Hello. He hung up. <laughs> I'm off. Thanks a lot, Axel. You don't got to thank me. I love you guys. Bros. Yeah, yeah. just the homeowners. Why don't you take care of my um, uncle's house till he gets back? That's not really your uncle's house, is it? All right. What the hell is going on here? Who are you? Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Hey, I'm <laughs> face, face. <laughs> that was good. Okay guys, that was Beverly Hills Cop 2 and that one was really fun. I think I enjoyed the music the most. It was so 80s. I loved it so much. We had that Axel Foley theme and it was just really fun all the way through the music. I, I really, really liked it. I don't think I liked this one as much as number one, but I still, I still liked it. And you know, I love a good heist. We had some explosions. We had some cool guns and like a rocket launcher. And I love that they brought the cops from the first movie back and it was like a bit more of a bromance in this one. They already liked each other so I like that. Eddie Murphy is of course always charming, always funny. He's just got that charisma man can't teach that. He just has screen presence. You just can't take your eyes off him when he's on screen. I think he's so cool. I would like to see more Eddie Murphy movies. Has he done anything serious? We know he can do funny. We know that. Just having him in a movie is just it's an Eddie Murphy movie then to me anyway. No matter who else is in it even it becomes just an Eddie Murphy movie because he is the one and all only. There is no one like him. This one was just, it was so 80s and I love that. I love, love, loved it. It was just like soaked in 80s. We went to the Playboy Mansion. I mean, really, it doesn't get more 80s than a movie like this. I, I feel like this is pinnacle of the 80s. I'm curious to know if you guys like this one as much as
because the first one, first one's just so classic. It really is. I think I've said it before. It is always hard to kind of recapture the magic of the first one and the freshness. A sequel is tricky, but overall I had a really good time chilling with Eddie Murphy and doing more cop stuff at lab. Him just sweet talking his way into whatever he wants. He's so good. Let me know if there are more Eddie Murphy movies we should check out, comedy or drama. I'm down. I'm down for any of them. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I had a great time. I hope you had a great time too, and I will see you next time. Bye guys.